The 46th BT Young Scientist and Technology Exhibition is organised and ready to go. Schools from throughout Dublin are first to descend on the RDS to set up their stands 24 hours before pupils from all other counties arrive throughout the morning for the first round of judging in the afternoon in what's been described as an amazing and fun week by students but also a breeding ground for the next generation of Irish entrepreneurs according to Chris Clark, CEO of BT. This is our 10th year as not only sponsor but also as as the organiser of the whole event. There are a number of reasons why we do it. I mean, most importantly, BT takes its corporate responsibility very seriously and we're particularly focused on a few areas. Most importantly, development of young people and if you look at the BT Young Scientist it really does tick all the boxes you know it's around inspiring young people to be enthusiastic and love the sciences and technology which has to be good for us as a, an employer a large employer in, in, uh, in Ireland for ICT despite the tough times we still think it's a very insensible use of our time and uh, money as well. We try to change as much as we can every year. Like We have Robot Wars, which has been with us, I think, eight or nine years now. Uh, but outside that, we've got Team Extreme, which is breakdancing on BMX bikes. Brand new show for 3D Theatre. And we have this really interesting show called Bending It Like Beckham. Um, apparently, Beckham is a physics genius. So there's a guy that will prove that for you, and it's an interactive show. So loads of things for all the family to do. You sort of see trends every year changing, so it's more around social networking, ecology and things like that this year more so than ever before. I mean, if you look at the history of past winners, there's a number, most famously Patrick Collison, who've made significant money, but also more recently, just last year's runners-up in the Group Award have also launched their own company. So it's about demystifying how you actually can make some of these science projects into actually a sensible business idea. This year we've, we've, we've done a, no, a new part of the scheme called the Business of Science where with other you know, 10 other organisations across the island we'll actually more mentor up to 40 young people uh, because there are some of the best ideas and who knows, I, I'm sure in, in the room in the RDS we could well see the next Google. The event is open to the public from Thursday to Saturday. More information on opening times and costs from btyoungscientist.com.